What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of me stabbing myself with a stim pack that I didn't need to use. Fantastic. Start the episode over. I quit. We can't do this. So I killed everything in that room, which is pretty shiggity sweet because I don't like it when bad guys try to kill me. I actually, I stepped the difficulty back in the previous episode. I don't know if I mentioned it or not. I stepped it back because I felt like the enemies, I put it on hard instead of hard dest or whatever we were on. I felt like the enemies were getting a little bullet spongy. And it's not that it was too hard, it's just that I don't enjoy playing first person shooters where the enemies are super bullet spongy. When I put a 38 right into your face noggin, you should fall over and die. I expect that to happen if you don't have a helmet on or whatever. Like, I don't care what difficulty it's on. And so anyways, ooh, more 38 rounds? Yes, please. Got a gas mask with some Googles in there. I probably shouldn't say that. They'll probably come in here and just be like, this is now the property of Google. Splattercat Gaming is now a subsidiary, although technically I already am. Like, I guess you could explain it like I'm a oh, the flip lighter right there. I'll take it. You could sort of explain it like I'm an employee of Google, but I'm not really on contract or anything like that. What the hell do the subway tokens do? We've been picking those up. Oh, there's somebody over there. You get shot in the dome, homie. Because you don't even know me. I hope they don't come this way. This is going to suck if they come this way. I'm going to camp this corner, though. I'm going to camp this corner like a cod noob. Yeah, I only shot you in the face. Give me those mollies. Pop another molly. There we go. So see, there you are. Come around my corner now. Come to my corner. I'll shoot your face. Maybe they don't have the key to that door. Or yeah, they do. Somebody already stuck their head through. Maybe they're just stupid. That's the other possibility. You know I'm just going to breach and clear that corner on you. Woo! That worked out pretty well. I don't know if I killed anybody, but... I felt like it did damage. There's a dead guy right there, so I assume it did. Oh, I'm out. I have no bullets. Hold on. Gunfight off! You guys should not shoot at me when I am not reloaded. It's not fair. Have honor, bandits. Well, the shotgun seems to work pretty well against these squishies. Maybe it's just the ghouls that it doesn't work so great against. Like, I think maybe there's, like, a specific DR, that is to say a damage resistance that they get to where the shotgun is no longer useful in any regard. But before then, it seems to do okay. You don't really have a whole lot of raider right leg. I'll try that out just because I don't know if it's better than what I have. Yeah, I'm not using a stealth boy. I am just ridiculously sexily ready to destroy you at a moment's notice. I can take a typewriter? What does this do? Does it heal me? Cool. I'll take the three rads. That's giving me hella health. Yup, all day long. Hella, hella, hella health. How do I get up there? Hold on, let me, let me circulate a little. No, I don't want your gun. That lady died with her head in a bookcase. Where does this go? And also, are there hostiles in here? Hmm. This quest turned out to be a lot more than I bargained for. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of bargaining skills. So, you know, we didn't take the barter traits yet. But... I don't know what that is, but it's a horrifyingly mechanical sound. I think it might be one of those turrets, maybe upstairs or something. Ow. Oh shit, that's terrifying. What the No. Sorry, monkey. You got to go. Kind of scary and I don't like you. So what even just blew me up right there? I don't even know. Did I step on a tripwire? I don't see one. I don't feel good about this. This seems undeniably sketchy. 
Dog, stop opening doors. That's also creepy. You're like the Velociraptor. You're like the Utah Raptor of dogs. Sitting there, it's like, opening doors, hella slow, like, woof. Ready to go. That goes outside. Definitely don't want to go there because the bodies have not piled up high enough inside yet for me to get the indicator that says that I'm done with the queast. So, this guy's up above me looking around. Cigarette machine probably ain't got nothing for me. It's a little bit horrifying. Kind of what I would expect to find on the walls of like a Halloweener hangout or something. Nothing inside the lockers. Bunch of dead bodies over here. I killed a lot more people than I thought I did. Wow. I kind of feel like a badass right now. I mean, any dude that can walk inside a building, there's a lightweight tempered raider right arm. I'll take that too. Frag grenade will absolutely take the frag grenade. Should probably go through. Oh, they make coolant caps. I don't know how I feel about what just happened. Shotgun seems to work pretty well on him. I mean, it sort of depends how close you can get. There we go. No more robots. 557's five, an enhanced targeting card and a vacuum tube. At Gristle's terminal. Let's take a look real fast. Took down another caravan today. Hell yeah. That makes three in one month. To top it off, Freddy came by with the good news that another caravan is headed our way. So he spotted some guards, but it's mostly civilians. They even got an old broad dressed like a fortune teller and some joker in a cowboy hat. I'm gonna ask Jared for more men to take this caravan down. The fucking hat is mine. Well, if you can't raid and get awesome hats, what are you actually raiding for? It's a valid question. I mean, if you've raided more than three or four caravans and still don't have an awesome hat, time to reevaluate the old raiding strategy. Looks like this is mostly just a dead end, although we do have a master level security lock right here, which is gnarly. Suppose we probably want to find a key to that. Let me re-equip. I'm going to get some of the good stuff in here and see if I can get it nice and settled. So we got a lightweight raider left leg. That looks like it's actually way better than what we had on right there, so I'll take that. It increases our DR by quite a bit. A pocketed tempered right arm. A lightweight tempered right arm. So we can go for a weight reduction or we can go for... I mean, I don't really care. Oh, we also get bonus AP, it looks like. Okay, we'll go with that one for right now. I'll probably sell that one off or break it down for parts a little bit later. We got a tempered left leg. I think I already have a left leg going. That one seems to be pretty much inferior to what we already have rocking. I haven't found anything else, though, that looks sexy. We could really use a better chess piece. Like, for realsies. I think we're rocking... Like, what? It's the... Where is it at? The chess piece right there. It's giving us 8 and 6, but that's after upgrades and whatnot. I'd really like to see something higher to 12, 14. Make me feel better about my survival prospects, anyways. There are people shooting guns at me. You can never be too careful. Shotgun shells over here. And a bobby pin, a pipe auto pistol. I do like the pipe auto pistol, but... Trying to stay off the pipe right now. A couple more rounds right there. We should be good on ammo for a good long time. Once we get this all worked out. How did I not loot all that? Either way, I think we're going to have to go topside. This next room over might be sketchy because I think there's still a couple of them left in there. Let's jump into the aid menu real fast. I'm going to go in on some iguana bits real quick because I think those will make me feel better. They will cure what ails me. Gunshot wounds. You can heal them with iguana meat. Who would have thunk? I don't think I need coolant caps. Unless they can be broke down for scrap or something. This toolbox has got a lock on it, so let me go ahead and... There is a lock pick. Turn, turn, turn. Alright, oh, here we go. Enough singing and joviality for right now. This says exit, and it goes out to the Commonwealth, so I'm going to leave it alone.
Must have a concussion. I'll fucking see you again. Mm. Since I have no visual. Let me wait until I get one of those. Oh, the dead guy down there. I wonder if he's got anything special, because he's definitely in kind of like a little tucked away position. Go check it out in a minute. I don't like to explore when there's foes in the region. I think that's like a security monkey or something. I'm not totally sure. Let me get a good gun out. Got a tool case over here. There we go. 28 more 38s. Maybe I should just stick to the 38 for right now. Uh, I was going to say, those looks, those look weird right there. What are those? I had to look at it for a second. I think they're wrenches or like robot legs or something. I'm going to go with robot legs because it sounds more awesome. How do I get to the top floor? Oh, there's a ladder. Are they above me? I thought they were below me. I mean, raiders are always below me because they're criminales. No, I will not get some. You can't make me. Ow. It's unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and retreat up and out of here real fast so I get myself patched up a little bit better. We got run we got one right there. I don't know who that was, but he had a big gun and it was kind of scary. I mean, I also had a big gun. So it sort of balanced out, I guess in the end, but shit. Those nades, they give you enough time to get away from them though, so at least they don't cook them or anything. Why would you announce that you're throwing a grenade? Just seems to me like with regards to the Tic Tacs, that might be a failure. God. The grenade spam is unreal. You get him? Alright, if you got him. Assault gas mask. Don't think we need anything from over there. What we do, however, need to do... Trifold American flag. What we do need to do anyways, back to the things I was talking, sorry. I've been awake now for like 24 hours playing Fallout. And unfortunately, it is really affecting my mentality. The remaining enemy should be up above me. I can actually feel my mind, like, it's refusing to wander right now. It's a very, very weird feeling. Apparently what you need to do to keep Splattercat on topic is to just make him stay up for long periods of time playing video games in a way that would probably be deemed unhealthy by anyone in the medical community. Bottle cap mine. I never set mines in this game because nobody ever takes the bait or, like, comes after me or anything. I don't know. I think I've set mines, like, two times in all of the Fallout games. Yeah, they're connecting rods. Look kind of like big old metal wieners, though, when we were up there. What are these? Tube flanges. Kinda like an old dance from, like, the 60s. Do the tube flange! Do the flange! Do the tube flange! Do the flange. You know how they always had those, like, harmony girls? This in the background. I watched a documentary on those, actually. Like, the background singers. On all these albums. And, like, a lot of people question, like, why they would be background singers. Like, why would you do that to yourself? And just, like, not get credit for any of, like, the major albums you're on. But, actually, they do it because they don't want the limelight. But they still want to, like... That goes up to the roof. Oh, shit. I don't want to go to the roof. There could be them waiting out here. It's scary. Load times are a little bit absurd. I don't know. I got like 30 gigs of memory. Just load that shit in there. Like, load the entire game in my memory. It'll be fine, I promise. What the hell is that? Like a radiation storm? 
What the balls? It appears as though we have problems. Oh, you can open that? Well, maybe I'll open it. There's a dead guy with a mining helmet. Apparently he had a carrot in his lunch pail. Who brings a carrot for lunch? It's the worst lunch ever. What a deep, you're already a miner. I mean, you're already doing a shitty job. Why you gotta add insult to injury, pour salt on the wound by bringing a carrot for lunch? I mean, come on now. Let's go check that dead guy that was hidden back behind that thing. Oh, it was already opened. Okay, I don't know why I would want to be up in here then. I guess it's just like a little secret area. I'm sure I could probably walk around and find other access points, but for right now, I'm going to recommend going back inside because the sky is green and it's doing like an Incredible Hulk thing that makes me feel uncomfortable. I feel like it's menacing at me. So we need to figure out how... There's a dead guy down here, by the way. Yeah, there you go. He's got a whole. Why does he walk? Why is he walking around with a baseball base? Like, what would the point of that be? I'm carrying around my lucky baseball base. Stole it off a diamond 20 years ago. Never been shot since. Oh God, I've been shot. <laughs> yeah, it's like, come on. Why would that be in your inventory? I'm using it as armor. I used belts and I tied it around my stomach. It makes me feel resilient. I'm Iron Man. Okay, I'm baseball base man. You get what I'm saying though. We need to get up to the top floor somehow. Like, there's another scaffoldy floor over here. And I want to know how to get to it. It's not that way. It's definitely urging me to go this way, though. I kind of want to take all these pistols so I can break them down for screws and shit. Once I get out of here and keep upgrading my guns and making them super badass, I'm willing to bet we can probably do something with the 38 that'll make it a little bit less shit. Oh. Well, apparently there was a stairwell that I walked right by because I'm an idiot. So, we'll go ahead and open the fridge door. Oh my god, my leg is doing this Twitch thing that is just infuriating. And I don't mean that my leg is live streaming right now, although that would be pretty impressive. Talk about generating new revenue streams. Eh, we're in pretty close quarters right now. Sounding off. I wanted to see who would come running. Does that actually work? Huh. Land of Goshen. I think we have friends over here. And Jared? Like from Subway? We do have a lot of bad guys over here. I think we may want to wait on this strategy. I think they move around some. And now Jarrett is dead as shit. What in the hell? Look, they got napalm over here? Somebody's got an incinerator or something. That's bad juju for me. Real bad juju. Oh, look at that. There's a there's a repair bot over here. We might be able to do something with him. Focus on the shenanigans in just a minute. I'm not being bombarded with machine gun fire. Doggy, no! Oh, there's two of them. Well, that's going to be a joy to deal with. Yes, I get it. You have the high ground, Anakin. Whatever. I think someone's about to blow up. I heard hissing. And normally right around the time things start hissing, I start figuring that I'm probably... I'm just gonna do this like a man. Take the bullets to the face. Yeah. A stupid man would be the next retort. Typically from my girlfriend. We're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. We've got Nuka Cola Quantums and stuff. And Dandy Boy Apples. Those will fix it. We've got Hub Flowers. We've got Jet. It slows time for 10 seconds? Really? Huh. 
I've got a melon that I can eat, just in case you're into- Did I just eat some Mentats on accident? Oh man, I just took Mentats on accident. Well, we're about to be a drug addict. I think they're taking pictures of me right now so they can report me to the proper authorities. I'm not really sure. At least it's them and not the improper authorities. Damn it, my jumping skills come back to betray me again. Also, I stopped when I hit the skeleton up there. Yeah, there's like a little lump right there. I don't know if you saw it when I ran over it, but there's a little bump. Right there that you go over that keeps it, cancels out your sprint, sorta. There we go. Can you stop with the whole Gestapo scanning me thing? Thank you. I'm just not feeling this observation period that we're going through right now. Inventory! You want to give me some Nuka-Cola? That sounds super de duper good. And there it is. Our health pool climbs once again. So what's up, dead guys? What you got for me? Corvega safe key. A stim pack, a glow sided pipe pistol. I'll take that. Because those tend to be pretty good for breaking Thanks. down. Hey, in the way of my looting right now, Delgi. I think I might be weighed down. Where could there possibly be more raiders? Ugh. Alright, so I'm overweight right now, which means bad things are going to happen to me if I don't start just, like, liquidating inventory here. I got a boiled leather left arm. Oh, use that too, I guess. Anything that gives me a little bit more defense is fine by me. Probably dish some of that. God, if they throw a grenade in here, I am hosed. I hope they decide to not do that. Because tactically, that would be a very sound choice. I think you can make the cars blow up. Yeah, I was going to say. Did he survive that? Christ! I didn't know that was going to happen. What is this? Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. Okay. Well. We'll take Grognik! Bottle caps, leather right leg, a tempered raider left arm. What arm do I have covered in raider gear right now? I think I want that. Pretty sure that's going to be a defensive upgrade for us. Make us a little bit more sexified. So it was a tempered raider right arm. And then I think we also had somewhere in here like another one of the same thing, right? Tempered raider right arm. Oh, we have two of the same thing. Oh, man. Well, that's lame. I'm going to go with the pocketed one, though. Because I can. Makes me feel all Gucci'd out. So I don't suppose there's anybody still standing in here. Yeah? No? No way! That's incredible! How did you survive that? That shit is straight intense. Bottle cap, sack hood with houses. Because you don't even noses. Five, five, six rounds, which I'm sure are going to be difficult to come by at some point. And then somewhere around halfway through the game, they'll become so common that we don't even care anymore. Among all the shrapnel here. Is there a reason for this to be open? Huh. You also haven't found the chest. I'm guessing it's that lockup cage that was on the top floor. Because, I mean, a maximum level lock in an area like this seems a little weird to me. Hey, dead janitor. 
Got himself a gold watch. He was waiting for a very important date. And unfortunately, I don't... Was he a, a janitor in a wheelchair? Okay. Sweeping in a wheelchair. Don't know. I guess you have to lock the wheels each time you sweep so you don't push yourself backwards. <laughs> like, ah, I've been trying all week and I just can't get anywhere. This job's driving me crazy. I sweep the same spot. It pushes me backwards a little bit. I don't know. It all just seems kind of futile to me right now. Let me check and make sure there's no safe up here one more time. Ugh, I hate that jump so much. That jump is upsetting me. Let me guess. There's no way around that way, right? Bastards. They sealed themselves in. It's a flawless plan. Go up some stairs. Destroy the stairs. They'll never figure it out. That is a bullshit jump with that little nosh that's in front of it. It's right there, and it cancels you out. Oh, Jesus. All right, I'm going to sign off while I still have my dignity here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Fallout 4. I will see you all in future episodes. I do, everybody.